Bozo, baby. What's going on, you lot? Yeah, Master Frey back again with another one, innit? Yeah. Hey, listen, look, man's keeping that hat on, innit? Yeah, I just come back from training. I'm keeping the hat on because my hair is doing up hobo mode. Doing up full on hobo mode. You get me, innit? Yeah, wait for this lockdown to done off. And man going straight to the barber, fam. You get me? You come and look sexy and fresh for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That bridge, you get me? Are you listening, though, innit? Yeah, today we've got episode one of Know Your Roots. Yeah. This was a certain request. A certain request from my brother. Big Papa in it, yeah. Large up man like Big Papa in it, yeah. So the context behind this is given, man, is that this is like a, a survival show in it, yeah, for polys. You get me? But these man are, are plastic polys, fam. Plastic polys, which are man that we don't really know much about. Uh, sort of the culture, or I guess the roots and that. You get me? So, boom, it's gonna be interesting. I guess I'm gonna find out a couple, couple information and that. You get me in it, yeah. So it's gonna be lit. So let's get a cracker lacking. Before we do, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Yeah, bang the like button. Bang the subscribe team, join the gang, join the fan. You know the thing set before you get in here. Can you not leave this video without banging that like button? And eh, go right now, press the like button, and we'll be in this one. Yeah. So boom, let me start up my thing, yeah. This one, know your roots, episode one. Yeah, large up the cocoa in it, in it. Yeah, I know these lot do it big for the Polynesian culture, you get me? So large up cocoa next. Scrap. Hear me, let's go. You cruise it. Okay, okay. Oh, that guy's face looks familiar. The first one. Fresh presents eight urban celebrities battling it out. Ruben and Mirna. Akutoru. In a bid to not be Toreru Tapa. Social media. Oh, Grace Hobson. A trip for two to the Pearl of the Pacific. Hold on, she, I'm better chatting. Where did we hear? Fresh presents eight urban celebrities battling it out Maori and Pacifica styles Maori and Pacifica, in a bit to yeah. not be the most plastic poly present <laughs> oh in the sweet ass price what's up Gracie a what's up Sean a trip to the pearl of the Pacific Samoa Samoa courtesy of Air New Zealand and Aloha. five nights Jeez. accommodation Ooh, at the this is what, this courtesy is what Samoa is saying, of Air yeah. New Zealand and saucy fuck hey that looks dope fam Ooh, what, how's man got two swimming pools fam Oh, is that man got a swimming pool and then a lagoon? Like, I would eat bomb, okay? Like, just double, doubling it up. Man. Five nights accommodation at the luxurious Taumia Sina Island Resort. Susie. We'll even throw in some pocket money so our winner can fill this case up with Cheese, chips for the flight home. Boomer, you know. Some pocket money so our winner can fill this Boom. case up. Boom, you know Boomer some fucking Gears of War fam. Boom. Malak Boomer the God. Go on, up with cuddle chips for the flight home. It's time to swap Great. those Jordans for Jandals. This is Tapa. Jandals. This is what it is. Also, I love her eyes. Man. She's got really nice eyes. Man. I like eyes. Eyes captivate me. So tough, you get me. Yeah. Let's play. Yeah. Hold on. Let me up my volume. Come on. Can't hear shizzle, boy. I'm doing up 20 now. I have to get back to 30, big man. Look, look at me, yeah, I'm feeling flat. I know that. <laughs> Make sure we I'm in frame. A bunch I'm in shot. Plastics. Okay, I am okay. a plastic poly. Yeah, I'm as oh, plastic as they come. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty plastic. I, I don't really know. I know, know this much brother. Where do I know that brother from? I know that brother. This I'm as plastic as they come. <laughs> I, I, I've seen this Donny somewhere. Probably one of the videos I reacted to. Donny's been in it. But yeah, shout out my man, Toro Tafa. So I'm on. I'm pretty plastic. I, I don't really know too much about like my culture. Okay. I'm here to smash that myth that Pacific Islanders from what the, the South Island from what, what, that what, myth. What the hell? Like a sambaldi. What is this? What? Pacific oh, Islanders oh, from what is you doing, South baby? From Christchurch are plastic. What do you even call that? What is that kangaroo boxing like? You get me like it literally looks like you're not even the main kangaroo, the little kangaroo that comes out of the pot, the pouch just doing up like oh god on, like. Get it together, baby. Get it together. How come I didn't work on not being a plastic Maori? I think um, I've just been busy. I know. Ooh, she fires, I didn't work man. on not being a plastic Maori. I think um, I've just been. Ooh, you know, like you know, like Trey songs. Yeah, yeah. So, shorty, get me. She gets the the rumble at the back of the throat. Like what's so? You know, like that. Busy. I know. Talo falava. Uh, so e, uh, oh my gosh, I was gonna say hauki heni, but that's Tongan. Wow! Yeah, burger, burger, yeah, I'd love to know more about my culture. It's always been on my like bucket list to like learn it. Okay. But I know to like learn it, you have to go <laughs> live in Samoa. 
but I always get heaps of like, like mosquito bites when I go there. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen at New York Roots. I really don't know what's going to happen because I don't know what type this of... This is some long ass walk, fam. These like have been walking for a time. They're walking like fucking anime, bro. You get me? ...that are going to come our way. Jeez. You know, like this, some of the tasks might be directed towards wow. Maori culture. Wow, go on, So dog. I'm really excited go to on, learn dog. That's some it. of the that cultures. Is it. And also learn about Polynesian cultures because we're all, we're all cousins. Yeah, we're going to learn a lot. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, me too, shoddy. Me too. Somebody! Um, excited to, to, to learn about the, the culture, obviously, in it. That's, that's what we're here for, right? <laughs> Shushila! Yeah, we're going to learn a lot. I'm excited. Shushila, yeah? Is that the name? <laughs> Oh, yes, ooh, she giving his shoulders. <laughs> mm, look at his shoulder. Mm, love that. Yeah, as soon as I saw the couple of I was like, good looking bunch of people. Bianca. Nice, I fit in really well. <laughs> well, I recognize um, some Curtis. Grace. Is it Curtis? What's his name from Trollin' Street? That's so me. Oh my God, I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Who am I worried about? Probably myself. <laughs> my Unleash the Beast. Where I come from, after my first and last, there's only one place. No, he went mad still. He went mad. Boomer the God, get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, you're Large up the coconut, large. Talo for lover, bulivinaka, pakalo for lahiatu. Cheese. Kia ora fano, chokazi. Welcome to Know Your Roots. Yeah, what's up, Ali? Even though I'm not competitive, but I'm just game time. This is a competition that pits all of you urban Māori and PEIs against each other in a series of traditional Pacifica and tikanga based challenges to figure out which one of you is the least plastic poly. <laughs> That's why they chose us. <laughs> I don't call myself a plastic poly, but everybody else does. I know quite a bit about my culture. Obviously, my family is Māori, and I'm going to the Marae for tangies and things like that. The winner will be crowned the Know Your Roots champ and will be able to go home and face their whānau without feeling the wrath of the salu. I love you, Nana. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm sure that won't happen. I'm Ollie Connington. <laughs> I'll be your host. I'll be your referee. I'll be the law. Bianca, growing up in Christchurch, yep. did you do much traditional Samoan stuff? Yep. We, um... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ruben, probably well, the they can, bro. <laughs> you know a bit of your tikanga, though, bro? Yeah, but coming from up north, Ko Ruben Homawairangi Milna Aho, Ko Ngati Fatua Tiwi. Go on, Ruben. Today, you'll be competing in a hangi making challenge. Oh, jeez. What's that? What's a hangi? I know hangis. This is my challenge. Okay. Scared, nervous, because I've never made a hangi before. So as soon as he said that, I was just like. I like an accent. <laughs> no, I haven't made a hangi before. Just because of the pure fact I don't like eating my hands dirty. In Te Ao Māori, what? your mana can be judged by how well you feed and look after your guests. And a hangi is one of the best ways to cook for a large group of people. You will be split into two teams of four. Oh, we hangi, must... is that where you cook in that under, underground, underground oven thingamajiggy, I think. I think I'm competing too, baby. I'm competing too. You get me, like, what's in this? Make a hangi from scratch. I hope Ruben's think I'm right. in my team a beautiful right. Grace because she comes from the Naughty North and I know she would have seen a hangi or two. <laughs> if we're Jesus climbing Christ. coconut trees, maybe me, because I watched the tutorial on that before I came. Go on, Billy, son. he's got big muscles, so maybe he can dig the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I think we will do good if we're climbing coconut trees. I don't want my team Terrell and she. They talk too much. <laughs> First, you must select what food you'll be cooking Jeez. in your hangi. Then yes, I am you right. Have to dig your hangi pit and yes, I'm a fucking G, blood. I'm a fucking G. Add a fire to heat the rocks. From there, your kai must be prepped for the hangi basket. Kai, yeah. Like and from, once the rocks have been heated long enough, you'll clean out the ash from the pits, then lay down and cover your kai basket. Oh shit, right? Once They're doing you it from think scratch. The hangi is cooked. You must serve me up a delicious tasting and looking kai. The winner will be the team with the tastiest hangi and will be going through to the next round. Okay, okay. The losing team, one of you will be going home to learn how to cook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who here has made a hangi before? 
Who's the one that knows how to make a hangi? Because I want to be on your team. Yeah. I have made multiple hangis. Okay, I have so done one, tight. but I didn't put up my hand to say I had. Yeah, so I've done one before. Here are your teams. Team Kahurangi will be Terrell, Ooh. Philly, Shoshila, <laughs> and Raze. Oh, Raze. I think we're going to be a great team. We Raze all work with together. Raze. I will probably be Camp Mother, which Ooh, I'm sure Shushila, they won't mind. Nice shoddy. I don't think I'm going to do well. I just hope that it's cooked good. We'll find out. <laughs> team Karaka will be Boomer, yeah. Ruben, Bianca, and Grace. Yeah. Oh. My mum is straight up on Shushila's team, in it, yeah? Straight up, in it, yeah? Not for no biased reason, just because obviously man thinks that they have a more connected and pretty um unified um goal in 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 completing the tasks. You see me? I mean I was hoping to get partner with Boomer because you know sweat it <laughs> love it boy three one two Yeah Okay okay Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Good luck and go hard, or you might be going home. <laughs> Literally, go hard or go home. All right, Team Kahurangi, you ready? Yo. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Team Karaka, kuorite. Is that a whole right. pig's head, blood? Oh, my God. Okay, Toru, Rua, Tai, Timata. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Okay, Toru, Rua, Tai, Timata. Toru, Rua, Tai. Which one's that? Was that in Samoan, Maldi, or what, what, what's that in? I know it's, it's a count up team, but. Yeah, let me know, let me know, let me know. Let me know. As a matter of fact, let me know. Someone give me a, a translation of one to ten. One to ten in numbers, innit? Please. Appreciate you. Thank you. Tiwata! Tiwata! Mm. Today, you'll be competing in a hangi making challenge. You'll be split into two teams of four, where you must make a hangi from scratch. The winner will be the team with the tastiest hangi and we'll be going through to the next round. Hangi! I can't believe I got it right, I still can't believe it. All the people on my team are basic savages. All I saw was the orange team running in front of us, I was like, no! <laughs> We're bowl people out of the way, shoulder by shoulder. <laughs> straight. straight for the perimeter. Don't drop it, don't drop the meat, baby. Yeah, I was just looking at other things that I could grab that they couldn't grab. And so I'm grabbing the yo, basket, yo, 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 she's yo. grabbing the meat. Yo, yo. For some reason, Boomer didn't want to touch the meat, so he grabbed the basket and then I grabbed the meat. I don't like touching meat with both bare hands. Oh, He's what? For a Boomer, blood. This big boy, man, too, don't like grabbing meat, fam. What do you ask? Grab the basket and then I grab the meat. I don't like touching meat with both bare hands. He needs to come up north for a couple of weeks. I like. I just grabbed the big stuff. I grabbed pumpkin, I grabbed uh, <laughs> cabbage. I'm going for all the seasoning. I'm taking all the seasoning. I'm not going to let any of the other team have any of the seasoning. Oh, that's that's right, baby. Sure, I grabbed the rocks and I thought they were like rocks to heat, you know, for the honey, but it was just for decoration. We decided just to go for pork. No chicken. You got to cook that properly. Grab more veggies because they're better for you, obviously. Great skin. Trust we did really good. Like, I got the things we wanted. I was like, get those steaks, get the chicken, get the um, lamb leg, which get is it, like baby. golden to me because I love get cooking it. lamb. I was probably the most invaluable person in that little grab part. So we've got the boys digging, and me and Grace, we're doing the veggies. Gee, oh. shank it. Not to be stereotypes, fake girls, you know, chop it up, make it nice. Boys dig that hole. Pretty solid line around there. So the piss nice. going to be straight flush edges, squared off, deep enough to fit two and a half baskets. Okay. Me and Billy, I'm be straight flush edges, you know, chop it up, make it nice. Boys dig that hole. So man's got a basket upside down and you know, obviously they're digging. That is dope. What's so literally legit gonna cook it on the ground? Okay. Oh, pretty solid line around there. So the piss gonna be straight flush edges, squared off, deep enough to fit two and a half baskets. Okay. Me and Billy are much bigger, so we're like, okay, this is gonna be easy. Oh my gosh, what's that like? Need to be a <laughs> rocks. What the hell? We're just hitting rock, hitting rock. Oh, look at this. But Go on. Uh, just shells. There's rocks underneath here. You think it'll make a good hangi? All I heard was yeah, blah, 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 blah. So we dig past the first inch, two, and that's just easy running from there. Come on, boys, let's have it. We hit a couple of rocks. And me and the bro oh, nice. were just getting into it. Which turned into more rocks. So we dig another hole. Probably already a basket deep. And they had started their second hole. Oh, Hopefully wow. the boys are doing well. 
Uh, oh, this is way easier. This is maybe what you guys had. What, heart and mana? <laughs> <laughs> That's their uh, heart and mana. I cut the pumara, cut up the potatoes. Bianca's peeling the carrots. Actually, in the beginning, I actually didn't peel the carrots, so... We'll just say Grace did the carrots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that all the cuts of vegetables are kind of the same size or they'll cook evenly at the same time so that there's nothing overcooked. I, I can't even comment on any of the cooking because I hate being in the in the kitchen do you get me in here when i get in there i'm trying to get in and out as fast as possible do you get me in here only now i've actually developed some sort of patience in the kitchen do you get me in it yeah obviously man's trying to do up this health thing do you get me so i don't really have a choice unless i go get a wife you get me so all of you polynesian gal out there you get me in it yeah salmon you get me moldy you get me all of that man will take it you get me as long as you can cook baby hit on my phone baby you know like that fam not like that. Cooked or undercooked when it comes out. We ended up digging four holes. When we got to the fourth four. hole, which was really close to them, it was so easy. Much more easy. It was like hot knife through butter. Right. How many holes? Feel the outsides because we'll keep those, utilise those. I think I bring a camp mum vibe. <laughs> that? It's better to have too much than too little. She keeps telling me, do it this way, do it that way. But I'm doing it my own way as well. Razzy, I like that name. Again. I tend to sound quite bossy. My family would say I'm, I'm real bossy and I tell people what to do. Uh, I don't know, if she kind of continues like this, there might be a problem. Ooh. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Fight. Well, I hear us complaining over there, bro. <laughs> Solutions, boys. Giving us a lot of stick about our poor attempt of digging. Save those rocks you're digging up for the honey. Philly's got a big <laughs> muscles, but he's getting little splinters. I knew I should have done the cooking. I moisturize quite a lot, so doing physical work is not very good for my hands. Ah, hand. this guy, what going, bro? What is big men, fam? Talking about don't touch meat. Man said I moisturize too much on my hands. What going? What going for these men, like? What going? For the honey. Philly's got a big ass muscles. But he's getting little splinters. I knew I should have done the cooking. I moisturize quite a lot, so doing physical work is not very good for my hands. Really, nigga? Man up. Man up. Complain about something real. You feel my face? Shut up! You, you, you shut so up your mouth. Physical work is not very good for my hands. Complain about something Shut up your mouth. You yourself were saying you can't, you don't even, you're not able to go and touch meat with your bare hands. Idiot bastard. What would you mean? I know you want to be telling this guy to complain about something real. Eh? Idiot. Something real. You feel my pain? <laughs> <laughs> you give it to me, but I'll give it back to you too. Oh, is that how you're cutting your cabbage? Yeah. Might burn that. Oh, I should try it. Trying to sabotage. Ooh. Get yeah, yeah. You mix it up our salt, our mixed herbs, our pepper. Got all of that in there and did a little. Ooh, sauce it up, baby. Oh, can I please borrow it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> They lent us a knife. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, this girl, she's doing up sabotage, right? She's doing up sabotage. Look at the Thank evil. You. Look at the plot in the scheming. Yeah. It was really nice of them. And then they asked if we had any salt, and we were like, nah, sorry, we've got no salt. Oh, they snaked were it. Snaked it. Jeez, okay, I like this part. Ooh. Okay. Put the meat in there. Cheese, the whole chicken in. Raw, it's a big fuck off munch, yeah? One more. Yo, that looks delicious. I haven't even well, cooked yet, but you know like that. I can only see the end quick. as well. I think the bro's muscles must have started working. I feel like it feels too Philly, man. We could have dug four of those holes in the same day. Come on, lad. Amazing. You can do it. Put your back into it. Yeah. Hey. I can do it. Put, put your, your back, back into it. it. Put hey, your. Actually, we all hey. had a hand in building the fire. I reckon just like X kind of formations. Hashtag. So what we started off was uh, medium-sized logs at the bottom of the pit in a sort of crisscross pattern. So we could get that airflow. The key to an amazing Jeez. fire is oxygen. There's a lot Cap. of wind going, so I feel like there's enough airflow. Does she a little charge? She's kind of added some direction yeah, to the- she is the boss lady, huh? Hey. The teams, which is good. She did a great job doing that. Yeah, so we'll go kindling now, I reckon. She's just basically- These men are all soft, bro. These men are so soft. Yeah, you know, do this, do that, do that. And um, yeah, we had no say. These men are so soft, but um. <laughs> we'll just angle the ones that are too big. The boys are listening mm. to her. I'm listening to her. 
Why do we have to listen to her? Go on, Shushi. Go take on, baby. The brush in. We can't be light with it. Put on the Manuka brush, which is going to make everything beautiful. Chucked on some kindling and slowly made our way thicker and thicker. Where's the basket going to fit? We got though? to the thicker spot up the top. What the fuck? I thought the basket was going to fit inside the hole. Like, why they. They've covered it up. Like. The stones on okay. top. Heavy lights. Okay. So how are they gonna cook it? Team. Okay. Oh, I really don't know how our two is gonna come up with the idea to make rocks hot enough to cook food. I don't know. I think it's genius. <laughs> I like it. Bro. Oh, oh, if you burn it down, you yeah. does it go down? So our hangi pit has been burning for three hours now. Bro, three hours, bro. So we are moving the rocks. Go boys, get that ash. <laughs> Once the ash is out, we flatten the rocks, pour a little bit of water in, put that fire out and create some steam. Get the sheets ready. The girls put the basket over and then we put a wet sheet over. Yep. And then just like kind of overlap them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Put that fire out and create some steam. Rocks. So you burn up the thing, you put it on, you, you, you dig the thing on the ground, burn it up, put the fire and all of that in there. And then obviously you take out the rocks and then put the water in to create the steam and then put the thing over so obviously the steam rises and cooks the thing. So it's, it's a steam cooker basically. Pour a little bit of water in, put wow. that fire out and create some steam. Get the sheets ready. The girls put their basket over and then we put a wet sheet over. Yeah, yep. wet sheet over. Like kind of overlapped it. Three sacks, long ways, and then three sacks sideways. That's six eight. Oh, what bro, I like that. the edges of it, so none of the steam. What the hell? What are these niggas burying it, bro? Is this, is this food you're having a funeral, nigga? What the fuck? Under the sacks. Full on burial. I hope not too much dirt got mixed in with the food. That's what I'm saying, blood. It all comes down to how good the honey's gonna taste. I was just hoping it'll cook. Is the flipping the honey just gonna, you know, like them fucking zombies, bro, just come out the, just come out the fucking underground. They buried it to bumble club, bro. What? I know literally... 100% that we will blow these guys out of the water. That is mad. I ain't never seen anything cooked like that before. Today, you'll be competing in a hangi making challenge. The winner will be going through to the next round. I'm taking all the seasoning. I'm not going to let any of the other team have any of the seasoning. Oh, all comes to... I'm taking all the seasoning. I'm not going to... Mad in love with her eyes, bro. I swear to God, like, she's got mad standout eyes, like, mad. Let any of the other team have any of the seasoning. It all comes down to how good the hangi is going to taste. I was just hoping it'll cook. Okay. I gotta see this. I gotta see how this turns out. Hangi's been cooking away for long enough. You know what to do. Let's get those baskets out of Papa Tuanuku. Tibata! Yeah. And then dig it up, yeah? Scraping all the dirt off to the side. We basically just started pulling out all the mud with our hands. Remove what? the sacks individually. Nice. Oh, yeah. All that beautiful Shoot. smell came out, bro. It was, oh, it smells so good. You can just smell the aroma. You can see the juices just flowing. I'm just like, I'll be damned. I'll be motherfucking damned. What? They legit buried the food and cooked it. Or well, steamed it on the ground, fam. I guess this comes from obviously back in the day where Mandem didn't have ovens and all of them things there. You had to be a bit more creative with it, innit? So with that being said, I fucking rate that. That's sensational. They basically created their own oven, bruv. On the ground. Mad. Mad. Like Genius, my nigga. Genius. Let's get it on the plate. I want to see it. We just got a bit of pumpkin. Plonked it on the plate. Bit of meat. Chucked it next to the pumpkin. And What's voila. Up? It's Philly and I's idea to mash the... Pumpkin. I put uncooked pickle pickle. How long, how long do you leave it on the ground for though? How long do you cook it on the ground for? Oh, that looks saucy, baby. I want some. Yeesh, what? On our plate as a... I'm amazed. I'm not going to lie. I'm amazed. I ain't never seen nothing cooked like that before in my life. Garnish. 
Jeez. I never actually tried it, but I, I think I want to now. Trust. I feel like we're, we're doing a good job. I want to talk about my nails now. <laughs> so Grace is taking charge of presentation. Playing around, changing things up. We went for simplicity, veggies. <laughs> and we had a big piece of pork that was sitting on a bit of pork fat with seasoning. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. Jeez. Ooh, I want some of that. I need to go cook, bro. I need to go make some Team Kamurangi, Team Karaka, congratulations on not burning down this beautiful tropical venue. <laughs> Everything Oli says in one ear, at the other. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> That's Kai, I'm going to start with Team Kahurangi. She. So she takes up the plate of cardboard and wrap manure. I wanted a piece of that hangi. Like, I was like, can you eat it and then can we finish off our part? Sure. Us. <laughs> Moment of truth. Do you want a spit bucket? Go on. Drum roll. I'm looking at ours, and then I'm looking at theirs, and then I'm looking at ours. So, feeling confident. He's doing a lot of chewing. Ooh. I'm pretty Go confident. Go on, Oli. Pretty good. Jeez. Confidence levels are pretty high. Team God damn. Confident. He needs oh. some milk. Somebody. Pretty good. Confidence levels are pretty high. You know? Team Kaka. Grace. <laughs> they seem pretty confident too. I don't know why because it just looked like there was too much seasoning. Jeez. I want Ollie's job. I want Ollie's job, bro. Now hurry up and eat your food and just make a decision already, damn it. <laughs> Another really nice hangi, Team Karaka. That's very nerve wracking. Alright team, Kaka eating Karaka, big ups on cooking me a mean feed. I knew that was a wrap from them. Kahurangi, really liked the variety you had on the plate. Bah! Boy, bah! <laughs> Lovely garnishes, although the unripe pickle pickle may have poisoned me, I don't know. He doesn't understand pickle pickle. <laughs> Obviously you can't eat it. Team Karaka, slightly less variety, but the pork was cooked mean as. There was nothing bad about ours. He was just saying that for television. Mm -hmm. Good job, both of you, however. It can only be one. And it can be one winner of this challenge. Trust me, but I'm nervous and confident at the same time. I'm not sure who he's going to pick. The challenge is super close, like real neck and neck. The deciding factor for me. Presentation. One was seasoned. <laughs> oh, peak. Are you not going to season So the winner. It's Team Karaka. Yeah! Karaka! Oh, but they... They cheated! No, they deserve to lose because we didn't take all the seasoning. I feel like they shouldn't have celebrated uh, like that. They should have been maybe a bit more humble. I knew I wasn't going home. I'm the threat here. I'll eat all these guys for breakfast. Trust I me. am really, really pissed off, to be honest. Team Karaka, congratulations. You're safe from elimination. You'll be going straight through to the next round. Thank you. Rosary beads paid off. No, you can't send away my babes, fam. If they send away my babes, man, is not even watching another episode, bro. Don't piss me off, bro. Don't piss me off. Team Kahurangi. Kahurangi. Now's the tricky part. One of you has to go home. Sorry, man. Dem. Side. I'm oh. It hit me in the gut. Really, bro? No. That's cold. So you will individually come forward and vote for who you think will be leaving today. <laughs> techie, techie. Word in, come We're gonna start techie. with you, Raze, so please come forward, starting with you. Oh, Hi, shit. Mind. Oh, she's gonna vote for babes, fam. Go with your heart. She's gonna vote for babes. <laughs> your hair looks nice. Vote for the mandem. <gasps> sorry, mandem, sorry, mandem, but like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing now? And then he vote said, the mandem. oh, you're gonna pack your bags. I'm gonna vote you off. Sorrel, your next part. I don't mate. We have like no time to think and I'm just, okay, who am I gonna vote? Oh, I hope they don't vote out like, babes because she was in those boss. Of situations? He looked you right in the eye. <laughs> that was a tough call to make. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, team Kamirang is fate would have it. She didn't even vote. No one received a majority vote. You each got one vote. Ooh. Oh, bro. What are the chances of that? Who voted for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm on the train. I'm feeling in my stomach that the voting for the elimination is going to be passed on to us. Mm. So, because you couldn't decide between yourselves individually, Team Karaka. I'm going to give you 30 seconds between you. Karakara Kingo. Who's going home today? Oh, now shit. we have to vote. That's tough. So your time starts now. Karakara Kingo. I don't want to be a part of this, you know? I need to create allies on both teams. Nah, it's good. It's good. Being in control. <laughs> That discussion was actually really hard. This is a competition. These are challenges. We're here to win. The discussion is to eliminate what we think is the greatest threat. I was mm -hmm. really conscious of how my teammates were making the decision. I was like, okay, Boomer's playing the game. Grace doesn't care. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh, my heart was like this. <laughs> we need to send the biggest threat home. Boomer and Ruben. What am I getting anxious for? What am I getting anxious for? Yeah. Yes, everyone is in agreement. Oh shit. Time's up. <laughs> Boomer, you can be the one to break the bad news. Oh my goodness. Boom. Well, wasn't my choice. I'll fuck you up, nigga. I'll fight you, nigga. But as a team, I'll fight you right now, nigga. Don't you dare. We've chosen. Terrell. Ooh! Ooh! I mean, oh, oh, Terrell, bro, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I wish it wasn't you, man. I'm sorry about that. Psych! Oh! <laughs> Episode two, here we go, baby. Hi, Terrell. No, nah, slightly though, slightly though. I am upset because I do know this guy from somewhere. He was, apart from Babes, it was him next that I was rooting for. You get me? Instagram. Well, pop. Let me, let me stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> So is my G. <laughs> this is gonna be mentioned for you, I feel. <laughs> oh, king of plastics. <laughs> <laughs> the plastic king. <laughs> ah, king of plastics. Learning your culture, heritage. Wait, why is it cute so much? Important, um, and it's definitely something I want to learn. And um, obviously, something I'm not that great at right now. But um, we'll get better. And uh, season two, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Boomer, he's still growing. Short legs, short arms. He's got a bit to say about everything. I got you, I got you. Blab a mouth. What you got? Ooh. What you got, Swat it? He cheated. Bianca made me her nemesis. I like Bianca. I just came here to play the game. I like Bianca. <laughs> she got character. So you can see more of New Zealand on air. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hey, large up everyone on this thing, innit? Yeah, large up my like Terrell. I'm slightly, I was upset to see him go, innit? Yeah, I just didn't want babes to go, innit? Yeah, so anyone else could have gone apart from babes, you get me? But still, that was jokes, man. That was interesting. I've never seen, I've never actually seen a Heke being, is it Heke? I think it was a Heke being cooked like that before. Like the thing on the ground, like fully on the ground. My expectation of it was like maybe like a little pot and then they put it in and then like it cooks in the little oven type pot but i did not expect man them to be fucking doing up grave and digging up graves and that you get me that was mad that was mad but the food did look good i'm not gonna lie the food did look good still but yo that's it for this one innit yeah make sure you guys like share subscribe yeah bang the like button bang the subscribe team join the gang join the family now the thing's set you get me innit yeah. large up my brother big up papa sonny for recommending this one innit yeah Know Your Roots episode 1 you get me innit yeah Listen, yo, massive afraid the boy the kid wonder done your mom's favorite son in it. Yeah, right up to the infinity, check my energy, it's off to his flow sound like a new remedy, check my melody from on the shizzle. Listen, I'll see you guys here on the next video. Yeah, bless.